Hello everybody and welcome to Blue Marble Science. The flat earth is having a problem with their dome. The damn thing just won't obey the gas laws and that's a problem they can't explain. Warning, severe facial and monitor damage alert is in effect. Get out the oven mitts, push the monitors back out of punching range, and let's light this dumpster fire and have some fun. We need to talk about gas. Gladys! I said talk about it, not generate it. Jeez. I got an idea. Go get your cousin John. He can explain the gas law to us. And open the window on your way. So, spinning space monkeys. You see this? This is the ideal gas law. All this is the general, generalization of the Boyle's gas law. And what we're going to be concentrating on, I'll, I'll let you try to guess. You see this one right here? That's what we're going to concentrate on because you can't have this law without that V. So V equals volume. So show V without a container. Question, how can you have volume without a container? Do I need to go through this again? Hold that thought, QE. We'll come back to volume and containers. You're talking about Boyle's law, but that's only 25% of the story. The ideal gas law, PV equals NRT, is actually made up of four different laws. It's made up of Avogadro's law, Boyle's law, Charles's law, and gay lussac's law. Avogadro's law simply says that the volume of a gas is equal to the quantity of gas, the number of moles of gas, times a constant. Boyle's law says that pressure is inversely proportional to volume. Charles's law says volume is directly proportional to temperature, but gay lussac's law says temperature is directly proportional to pressure. And it's gay lussac's law that we want to talk about. Here, let me do it your way. This will help you visualize. How do you like my nice colors, Kiwi? gay lussac's law states that as temperature increases, pressure has to increase proportionally. So actually, the ideal gas law is just a generalization of gay lussacs law. And you can't have that law without that T. What do you think now, Kiwi? It's over. And now... The death of the flattard, reified, presupposed, non-observed sky dome. If the Earth is flat with a dome to contain the atmosphere, then every pressure measurement must conform to gay lussacs law, which states if temperature increases, pressure must also increase. P1 divided by T1 has to be equal to P2 divided by T2. Let's test this with a modus tollens. Why don't you tell us how that works, QE? Holy shnikes, this is gonna leave a mark. If P then Q, not Q therefore not P. Very good, QE. In propositional logic, the modus tollens says, if P then Q, not Q, therefore not P. Hey, shout out to Unorthodox for bringing this to my attention. And just to repeat what Huey said, holy shnikes, flatards, this is going to leave a mark. If the Earth is flat with a dome to contain the atmosphere, that would be P, then every pressure measurement must conform to gay lussacs law, which states if temperature increases, pressure must also increase. That would be Q. Boise, Idaho, reported on 6-5-2020 at 7.53 p.m. a measured temperature of 92 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 306 Kelvin, and a measured pressure of 992.9 millibars. The next morning, on 6-6-2020, at 5.53 a.m., the temperature was measured to be 46 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 281 Kelvin, 
and the pressure was measured to be 1017.7 millibars. 992P1 divided by 306T1 is not equal to 1017.7P2 divided by 281T2. Not Q, therefore not P. There is no dome. Let me say that again. There is no dome. There is no container. That is your religious belief overwhelming what very little scientific knowledge you have. If the atmosphere were contained, the pressure cannot increase while the temperature is decreasing. That is impossible. So tell us again, what does this mean, QE? It's over. You're right. It's over. But there's something else we want to go back to. Let's go back to your previous slide where you ask a question, how can you have volume without a container? You said volume is the quantity of three-dimensional space enclosed by a closed surface. This is a can of butane. That is a closed surface. This is an open-topped pipe. That is not a closed surface. This is pressure in that open-topped pipe. This can of butane will obey the ideal gas law in every respect. This open-topped pipe cannot obey the gas law unless you take one more thing into consideration. And you know what that is? Gravity, you fucking retard! Gravity! Have you ever heard of fucking gravity? Gravity! Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. And remember, Kiwi, when I say, how stupid can you be? That isn't a challenge. That's a question. Hey, don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons down there. I don't care which one. Hit either one of them. Click that little bell if you want notifications. And a special thanks to all the folks that contribute to the channel. It really helps and it is greatly appreciated. If you'd like to support us, there's a link to the Patreon account. I'll put that up in the description. And I guess we'll see you guys on the next one. Hey, Gladys. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We're out of here. <laughs>